What's up guys, it's Hatai7RCT bringing you another video for you guys and today I got a little surprise here uh, some of the guys already know that I've been working on a, another build with uh, JJ from Pax for Us and this time around I'm doing something with the Nessica line of games um, I wanted to do it differently because last time with the Techno one I kinda did a teaser and never did a follow up video on it um, but it was really good, it was a really fun experience, and I'm having fun with this one as well. But before I go into it, so uh, before I show it to you guys, actually, I wanted to start by saying thanks, or giving a shout out to my first ever patron, uh, by the name of H. Andy, or H. And, um, thank you so much for the support for being the first RCT gaming trooper out there to um, to support the channel and support me and what I'm doing. I never even thought it was going to happen, but here we are. Okay, let's go on with this. Before I begin to show you the build itself, so you can see how it looks, I wanted to show you guys some files that you are going to come across. Um, and it's these files right here that I'm going to include with the build. This is for the loader to work uh, for for the build and to keep on using the loader from from whatever point on. You're only gonna have to do a one-time install, which is this one right here. I'm gonna include uh, copies of these two, which are in each and every one of the games. They're needed for them to run proper. Uh, and this in case you need a backup because these are needed for mostly all of the Nezica titles. All you need to know is that you need these in each and every one of the game uh, that you configure. But this one basically you just go ahead and double click and there's a process here. Uh, for some of you that are installing for the first time. Uh, you might get this crazy notice uh, with, a, with a black screen flashing that, you know, kind of like a virus thing. Don't, don't, it, it's a prank. It's basically a prank that was done by the guys who, who came up with this um, loader thing. But basically what you need to do in order for not to get that um, message, which is a first time message that you might get, you need to go to the folder. You're going to find... In that path, you're gonna find this settings, the settings uh, I and I. And what you're gonna do is, regardless of whatever you have written here on this part of the I and I, you're going to write down, if you don't have it already, agree. As long as you write agree, you save, then you close, and then you run it again, and the next time that message won't pop up. Now once you do that, um, basically you install, you have the option to do it portable or install directly. I recommend doing it install because install will install the files to your app uh, data and you won't need to do it again. Like I said, as a one-time deal, once you have the files necessary, you'll be able to run the games the way that I configured them for you guys. So that said, I will include a readme, I just wanted to do something a little bit more visual this time around in case some of you guys get lost and for whatever reason it does not work right, you have something to go back to and check out. So that being said, let's go into it. Now, this time around, of course, I, um, it's 25 games versus 19 from the Techno build. And I included not all of them, but I included uh, some of the heavy hitters there. They're a mixture of old and new. Um, but I'm going to just run down so you can see uh, what it has, and then I'll run a game or two just, you know, to show you guys that there's, you know, gameplay. Um, yeah, let's go in. course the metal theme is consistent with what I wanted to do so yeah 
yeah, that's something that I really enjoyed a lot. Now, some of the metal heads out there that check this out are going to recognize a lot of the bands. Some legendary, some not so much, but I try, try to pick the best uh, and more fitting for the games. Now, as I said, you're going to see some crazy, crazy old games like this one. Very classic. But bear in mind that um, Nessica is not a incredible arcade hardware. It's more of a service. So, it's a service that was made in the arcades for you to be able to download games and actually play them in the arcade. So those games range from the very, very classic from the beginning to some of the more uh, modern titles. So I think that with this build we kind of capture the essence of that, of having the old and the new. Maybe a lot of people don't like uh, the anime style a lot in the games. I, for one, I'm, I'm sorry guys, but I'm an anime freak. I love my anime and I love my waifus and the, and the fighting games, so yeah, sue me. I don't care. I know I am going to get copyrighted on this one, but, you know, what the hell. So I think you're going to, overall, you're going to enjoy the games and the sounds. and At least I hope that you guys have fun with it uh, once it's uh, released, which I'm hoping it will happen sometimes uh, soon. This is basically a, a beta because there's still some refinements that I know that I will leave up to JJ to work his magic because the guy is really, really excellent with art. So, um, yeah, let me throw one in here to show you guys Blaze Blue, I guess. Now, of course, in some of the games, you're going to be seeing some warnings and some error messages. Just, you know, never mind that. That is part of the process of the arcade. You're going to see some messages like error zero or something like that. You just wait it out until the arcade loads. It's not that it doesn't work. And once you get out of the first few screens, you'll be able to add credit credits with the select button. Okay, so we're back. 
let's see what other one we can do here. Uh, let's try classic. find a little bit of everything. Woo! That one was too close. Too close for comfort. Let me do one more. Now, of course, you got 25 to choose from. I'm just picking some of the the ones that I really, really enjoy a lot. Once again, you get that error message in the beginning, warnings, this and that, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> but it's all good. It's all working. Just need to give it a little time. And there you go. It's already clear. As you can see by the little antenna icon in the bottom, we just crossed out, meaning that it's offline. But that usually is green, uh, signaling that you're connected to the internet, of course. This is what I would call the Super Waifu Fighter. They're from uh, different animes. They come together and do battle. Kind of like an all-star kind of deal. Where is... Yeah, I could do that. Saber. And the waifus win. Alright. So there you have it guys. That's gonna be all for now. That's a little preview of what's going on with this build. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, can't say exactly when is it gonna come out. I'm not entirely sure uh, when I'm going to actually release this video. But stay tuned, just go over to the Pax or Us uh, Discord if you want to know more about this build and the other builds, amazing builds that the guys have done over there in Pax or Us. And of course, you need to check out also the new and improved um, Aura Maximus merger, which actually takes this build, for example, and the Techno build and all of the amazing builds like the Turtles and the Neo Geo and uh, Street Fighter and so on and so forth and puts them all together to run from just one big binder type of build where you can have everything in one place to run. 
So yeah guys, that is going to be all for now. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys very soon. Hopefully this will be out soon and I'll go on to the next thing. Have fun, take care, see ya.